welcome to the Golden Eagle Martial Arts Virtual Dojo. Today, we are working on King Gary, groin kick. It's named for its target rather than the style of the kick. This is the first kick students of Inawashiro Do learn. One, because it's easy. Two, because it's used in many self-defense situations. Three, it's effective. In practice, we focus on striking with the top of the foot, never with the toes. We want to make sure the foot is extended forward and the toes are curled down. In a real situation, we can strike the attacker's groin with the foot, the ankle, the shin, the knee, and even the lower thigh. It all depends on the size of our attacker and their proximity to us. We'll warm up a little before we learn and practice King Gary. Let's start with some ankle extensions or foot extensions, whatever you want to call them to get used to getting the foot extended. We can do this flat on the floor or utilize something like a piece of two by four. Be sure to have your feet side by side. I'll explain the purpose of this later. With our feet side by side, we'll raise up on the balls of our feet and hold for a count of five. Then return our heels to the floor. We'll do 20, 10 to 20 repetitions of this. We can also do those repetitions using some weights, some dumbbells, or kettlebells. Let's have a seat on the floor now. We'll practice the butterfly stretch to help open the hips, as well as stretch the muscles. Stretching the muscles, making them longer and leaner, which translates to speed and power. I recommend practicing this stretch for 60 to 90 seconds. Bring your feet in as far as you can, you want your heels as close to your bottom as possible, rather than farther away. Concentrate on your breathing, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Hold on to your feet or your ankles and use your elbows to push your knees to the ground. On each exhale, push the knees lower, relax the muscles and hold at that level. If you're able to get your knees to the floor, try to lower your nose to your toes. This is a good stretch that is easy to practice every day for five to 10 minutes. When we're done, raise the knees slowly. While still on the floor, extend one leg forward and rest the other ankle on the extended leg. Grasp the ankle with one hand and the toes with the other hand. Rotate the foot forward for 10 seconds and then backwards for 10 seconds. Then bend the toes backward and downward repeatedly for 10 seconds. Switch legs and repeat. Forward, backwards, and then bend the toes. Let's return to our standing position. With our feet side by side, we'll raise our knees to belt level. As we lift the knee, we want to extend our foot forward and curl our toes toward the bottom of our foot. Set it down and repeat with the other leg. Do 10 to 20 repetitions. Now it's time to execute our King Gary's. Starting with our knee lift and foot extensions, we're gonna snap the lower portion of the leg outward and upward so the leg is straight. Snap the lower portion of the leg back, then lower the foot to the ground. Don't extend the leg and then drop it to the foot, to the floor. This is bad for the knee and prevents the transfer of power to the kick. Repeat with the other leg and perform at least 10 to 20 repetitions. Now let's look at key elements of King Gary. We can perform the kick from a stance such as Zanko Zudach, forward stance, but that's not how we'll apply it in self-defense and we typically don't use it in Kumite. In self-defense, we don't want to telegraph our kick, meaning we don't want our attacker to know that something's coming. Moving our shoulders is usually the first thing that tips them off. So as I lift my knee, I want this part of my body to remain still. So I don't want upward or backward or downward or forward or sideways movement of my shoulders. So as my knee comes up, I want my shoulders to remain still. If I start with my feet farther apart and I pick up my foot, what happens? Gravity, I start to lose my balance and, and until I adjust. So we want to start with our feet together to minimize that adjustment, minimizing the adjustment 
minimizes the movement of the upper body. In our practice of King Gary, not only do we concentrate on the motion of the leg, but we also focus on the motion of the torso. We practice King Gary in every class because the best self-defenses are simple. There are some that feel a strike to the groin is ineffective, but a well-practiced strong strike to the groin is very effective against any opponent. Also to a strike to the groin can be more dangerous strike against the female because it's easier to break the female pelvis. Start with your feet together, hands at your sides, and execute King Gary. That completes our learning and practicing of King Gary. Keep training hard and working toward personal excellence. We'll see you next week with another video tutorial. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channels, ring the bell for notifications, like, comment on, and share our videos. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.